What is going on, people of the internet? Happy Fiatic here with a K, double R, and welcome back or welcome. If this is your first time visiting my channel, and what did I miss? This series of gameplays checking out any and all games I missed out on when I was young or in their prime. And welcome back to Battlefield 4 on what did I miss? Now, as I've been saying recently, I haven't been enjoying this game too much. But in between, there are some pretty decent missions. It's just the way some of these missions are designed and some bugs that I've dealt with that just really annoy me. As well as my ally bots not really doing jack and shit when it comes to the enemies. They're really just kind of there as a distraction more than anything. Their bullets, rubber. Straight up rubber. They do nothing to the fucking enemies. Anyways, we're going to begin exactly where I left off, where I last paused from the last gameplay, and we're going to hop right into it. But really quickly, of course, if you want to see some good... Ugh, I'm sorry. My tongue started to fold there, and not in the way it's supposed to. Um, if you do want to see some no commentary gameplay of this, hop on over to my second channel, Be Quiet Cutscene. Link in the description down below for no commentary playthroughs and video game preservation. And of course... This game does have collectibles, so if you're the type that likes to get all the collectibles in your games, complete your games, I will leave a link in the description down below for a collectibles guide. Why? Just because it's just something I like to do. Whether I go for them in any game I play or not, whether a specific mission or mission type has them or not, it doesn't matter. I'm always, 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 always going to leave a link to a collector's guide in the description down below. Not just for what did I miss playthroughs, but the no commentary playthroughs as well. If I ever do forget to add it, let me know in the comment section. Why does it look like you were crying? Those boats in the middle of the water? A little ass islands. Oh shit. Um, I'm not gonna make it to the deck. Oh, lucky me, I did. Motherfucker! What the fuck? Seriously? Ooh. I don't know if that's ours. Oh shit. I don't think it was.
Damn it, not with this shit again. What the fuck? Do y'all's job, bro. Not cooking this. So I was trying to cook the grenade. I did not know you cannot cook grenades in uh, apparently any of the battlefields. For fuck's sake. Excuse the fuck out of me. I dare you to try that shit again. Thanks for the ammo. Fucking cunt. Please do come closer. Please do. Please the fuck do.
did I say about put? For a second, I thought she fell right through the fucking ship. Good shit. You have been unconscious for several days. You shouldn't even be speaking. My voice is made up. If I am silent, I am not happy. Where are Mr. Wong? Where is she? Who? Why? The Union soldiers are putting up. They come from Shenzhou. Don't talk to me. You need to get you out of here. I have put down my gun, Captain. My brothers will not kill me. Maybe I can make myself clear. Your brothers think you are ready for war. You're a target like us. They're trying to get the church to destroy. And they have to see you. You're going to stay here. Sure, buddy. What are they doing? Beating out the door with fucking hammers? Oh, you mean me. Okay. Yeah, got me fucked up with this shit. Still a lot of Chinese soldiers out there. 
What the fuck is that? Fucking knocking is driving me nuts. Yep, so this is the very last mission, apparently. Now, this is the point where I make this one and only decision. Let's see if it even changes the outcome of the game. Bro's gun is clipping through his body. So after I beat this mission, I might come back to this point near the end and make the other decision just to see what happens. If it changes the final outcome of the game at all or not. Because it's the only really real decision you, you get to make at all in this game whatsoever. Who the fuck are you shooting at? That's enough. That's that's don't worry. We're pretty secure. Yeah, right. There's no way that's enough to blow up this single ship. I feel so much better. Wonder if from IKEA. Well, since I'm gonna replay it again, everyone on that ship are dying as we argue. Give me the charge. 
to make a second decision anyways. Fuck it. Bro, you wild as fuck. I am hitting it. I actually managed to find 12 collectibles, what the fuck? I wasn't even trying to go for them. I used to love going into the mountains. Such peace, simplicity. Yeah, I had an uncle. Jay he showed me everything there was to know about going into the back country. I thought you were a city boy. Hell yeah, through and through. My uncle, he wasn't from the city. Carolina boy. Got out long ago. Where's he now? He's not with us. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you know. Can you fucking do? Gotta keep moving forward, right? Make the most of the time you got. We lose many people we love. So many too soon. Sometimes I think it's better just to avoid it all. Be easier, you know? Nah, you can't say that. People that lose it, you can't regret it. No regrets. Go on, Anna, say it. No regrets. No regrets. Yeah, that's fucking it. Yeah, that's it. No fucking regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Why put this at the end? Okay, so I don't know if you get that bit of end credit dialogue. No matter what decision you make, we're going to find that out right now. But why would you add that dialogue near the end of the... Uh, at the credits? Is it... Am I supposed to feel bad for my choice in the character that dies? Because we don't really get a chance to truly connect with them. In fact, I feel like that's a bit of dialogue they should have added somewhere near the middle of one of the missions in a cutscene or something. To really help us connect with the characters. And give them some more chemistry beyond the negative bickering. But no, they chose to add that at the end. Unless maybe it was a last minute decision because of that in memory message near the beginning. Maybe it was like, I don't know, a eulogy or whatever, a final send off message to that guy who passed away. Other than that, putting that dialogue near the end instead of somewhere in the middle to add to the character, to the chemistry is just dumb. But anyways, let me go ahead and make a different decision, see if any difference is made, and uh, see if we get the same dialogue. Alright, let's see if a difference is made with this choice. I know there's probably already a video out there showing all the options, but I want to see it for myself. I feel so much better. Okay, 
Tracker! Do you have another one of those C4 chargers? Good. Give it to me. You are not risking your life, Hannah. I'm Irish, remember? The lucky one. Give it to me, Wrecker. Wrecker, I risk my life for my country every day. Give me the charge. Your country needs you alive, Hannah. You are not going down, period. Come on, Wrecker! Wrecker! When the Dread Angle goes free, you push the button! Hannah! I still don't understand why you guys gotta do... Why do you have to do that? Do you not understand how far we up uh, we are up here? Alright then, so far nothing different. Let's see about this end dialogue. I used to love going into the mountains. Such peace, simplicity. Yeah, I had an uncle. Uncle Jed. He showed me everything there was to know about going into the back country. It's the same dialogue. You were a city boy. Hell yeah, through and through. My uncle, he wasn't from the city. Carolina. All right then. So it's literally the exact same shit. There, there's literally no point in even having that choice, that those options at all. They might as well would have just scripted which one goes in and like, what was the point of that? Ah, uh, I don't know. But before we end it, as you can see, the video is not over yet. Because technically speaking, we still have one more option. And that's to do absolutely nothing and just see what happens. So, yeah, let's do that and just see what happens. Or if I have to make a choice regardless. Or else I'll just sit there and let the ship blow up. Alright, now for this third option, when I literally say we're going to do nothing... I'm just gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna sit there with the fucking C4 detonator and see what happens. How is it that you guys shot from my left side and ended up on my right? I still find it ridiculous that they freaking unhook to drop towards the water given how fucking high we are. These ships are big. And we're hanging from a bridge on above it. Shit. With either of these two unhooking, they should freaking die the second they land. And no, it in the water doesn't matter. That's assuming they don't get unlucky and hit the fucking boat directly below us. Alright, let's just see what happens. Does the ship blow up? Does Wrecker go and do it himself? That would be interesting. You are not going down, period. Come on, Wrecker! Jen, everyone on that ship are dying as we argue. Give me the charge, Wrecker. My goddamn ship, Hannah. Come on, buddy, do or die. Make a decision, Wrecker. Come on, Wrecker, you decide. Yep, the ship blows up. Thank God. Valkyrie's gone. We blew it. This is it. And I got a fucking medal for that.
I didn't think this was. I thought they were just gonna make me replay that segment. I didn't realize this was an actual ending. I didn't know doing nothing would make it a legitimate ending. What? I'm not gonna lie. That's that surprised me. I was expecting. I was expecting it to just be like, oh, mission failed. Replay this segment and try again and make your decision. I didn't think it would actually give me a cutscene. Shows me everything there is to know about going into the bad country. Anyways, I apologize if I'm speaking over this end credit dialogue. I'm just gonna assume it's exactly the same. My uncle, he wasn't from the city. Oh, I do not have my headset on, by the way, so I can't hear it right now. Got out long ago. Where's he now? All right, then you let me know in the comment section down below whether or not that dialogue was just about the same. I'm going to imagine it was, but I'm not going to lie. Even though I went in for that third option, I was not expecting to get anything but a game over. So consider me, consider me surprised with that ending. I still don't see a point into having that option near the end where you have to make that decision. Because the game really doesn't do a great job at really building that up. But nonetheless, I'll give credit where credit is due for actually adding a third ending for doing nothing. So credit where credit's due nonetheless. Even though I didn't enjoy the, this campaign too much, it was what it was. I will be back soon for the multiplayer and difficulty tweak for this game. I don't know which one I'm going to start off with. Most likely I'll say fuck it and just go straight into the multiplayer and do difficulty tweak later. Because from what I've heard, supposedly Battlefield 3 and 4 are on the chopping block next. If you don't know what I'm talking about, currently right now, Battlefield 1943, Bad Company 1 and 2 are no longer available. I'm not just talking about the multiplayer in the sense of servers. I mean the games are no longer available at all to download, to buy, to play. Unless you already got your copy, it's just no longer available. And Battlefield 3 and 4 may be next on that chopping block. So, honestly, it's probably best that I just save difficulty tweak for a little bit later and I take care of the multiplayer first. So, if you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to add a little dose of chaos in your life and join me for the next What Did I Miss Battlefield 4 video when I get into the multiplayer and see if it's still any good. And if you didn't enjoy, leave a dislike and a comment telling me why because any and all interaction is good interaction for my channel and the algorithm and any and all criticism can help me get better. And let it be known that your dislikes do matter and I do appreciate your time even if you didn't enjoy it. I really, really, really do. One last time, the link in the description down below for my second no commentary channel, Be Quiet Cutscene for no commentary playthroughs and video game preservation. Well, actually I have a full link tree to not only that channel, but my other primary channel, this channel, on other platforms. BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Unless you're watching on those platforms, shout out to those people. I'm also available on YouTube. At least on the Hyper Chaotic channel. When it comes to the Be Quiet Cutting channel, as of right now, it's only available on YouTube. Other than that, links are down below. And of course, the link to a full collectibles guide if you do want to get old collectibles in this game, if that's just your thing. Chaotic out. One last time, thank you so much for watching. This campaign could have been better but it also could have been worse. Have a good one.